Hi, I'm Kat Knievers here for Shepherd Express Visual Arts Review and we're today at the Villa Terrace Decorative Arts Museum. There's a lot to see in their permanent collection, but there's a veritable library of additional works to see in Artist Accordion Books on display upstairs. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Kat Knievers, here with curator Anne-Marie Salkins, who curated the exhibition Artist Accordion Books here at the Villa Terrace Art Museum. And it's an extensive exhibition of many different examples of artists making books. And Anne-Marie, how did the idea for the exhibition come about? Well, I met Stephen Perkins many years ago, and then uh, when he was director of the gallery at UW Green Bay, he decided to take the Afghan War Rug Show, which I curated here for the Villa Terrace. And while I was there for the opening, he uh, showed my friend and I his wonderful collection of accordion books. And it was from that point that I decided that we had to find a venue for his wonderful collection. It is fantastic, and there are a lot of different artists, uh, contemporary artists as well as artists who are sort of important in the historical canon of art history. Um, are there examples that you find particularly interesting or fascinating? Well, first of all, I should start out with a per perhaps better known artist. Uh, um, there's a Nikki Sample in the collection, which is just amazing and wonderful to, to see. Um, there's a Dennis Oppenheim, there's Buzz Spector, uh, there's a catalog of an exhibition by Jennifer Bartlett, uh, and, and then there's a lot of uh, really perhaps less known self-published works which um, are actually really delightful to see in all different scales and forms. For you as the curator, but also thinking about the viewer, what do you suppose makes this different than looking at an exhibition that's a little more traditional, you know, say like prints or drawings, you know, because of the way that these are displayed. It's mm -hmm. fascinating as you kind of move back and forth, um, you know, in front of the books. Right. You have sort of different vantage points. Right. Well, first of all, I think that a lot of people, for a lot of people, the accordion format or the accordion artist book is, is just a new genre. I mean, they're not familiar with it as a, as a typical um, collection or as a typical form of art that you do collect. Uh, and so it's really between the scroll and the codex, which is a regular sort of book, um, but it's a kind of quirky collection area and it's one that our collector Stephen Perkins has been enthusiastic about for years. And so um, it also allows the artist an amazing range of creativity in formats and styles and approaches to the accordion books and that's what's fun to explore in this exhibition. Some of the visitors to the exhibition may recognize the name Nikki St. Paul. She's an artist who's had uh, an impressive career uh, as a sculptor, uh, but also uh, gravitated towards the accordion fold uh, format for this wonderful love poem, basically, uh, which extends about 27 feet. Uh, but it's a, it features her uh, quirky drawing style and is just very playful. I just want to point out uh, Bud Spector's Unpacking My Library. It's a quirky accordion uh, from an exhibition that featured all of the books in his collection from smallest to tallest and it was a great format for the accordion and just a, a nice piece, one of the collector's favorites. It's an impressive piece too, looking at the books and some look familiar, but also the size of this amazed me when I looked at the exhibition text. It's 11 and a half feet long, which is really a very substantial work of art. There is a lot to explore here, so definitely come on down and see full Artist Accordion books at the Villa Terrace Decorative Arts Museum. And Marie, thank you so much. Thank you. And thanks for joining us for the Shepherd Express Visual Arts Review.